Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Victoria 2 Historical Flavor Mod, where we are playing as Ethiopia. We are now just a few months ahead of where we were when we ended the last video, but something big and important has happened. The Boxer Rebellion has fired. So, each uh, great power individually is uh, going to attempt to impose the mo that most unequal of unequal treaties upon China. Uh, and it seems there each one of them individually is likely to succeed. I believe the Boxer Rebellion is the primary reason why uh, the number of eight of great powers in this game is eight. Because that's how many signatories to the Boxer Protocols there were. So, yeah, there's a, there's a fun little fact for you. And, uh, well, I mean, not so fun if you were Chinese at the time. But, um, yeah, that's, uh, at least that's my belief as why the as to why the number is eight specifically. Uh, we, our ally is now Russia again. Um, we got an event that, uh, got us out of, uh, that, uh, ended up, uh, forcing us out of Italy, uh, of, uh, of our alliance with Italy since we were still in the Russian sphere. Uh, in the meantime, yeah, the wars in the, in the Balkans were all resolved in Russia's favor. And, uh, Russia has reformed its alliance with France, which seems to be... Well, I was going to say it seems to be in better shape militarily. I, I was, I must have been confusing its uh, industrial score with its military score. So, yeah. Yeah, Britain has, uh, to a certain extent, uh, retained its supremacy, although it is less in terms of, uh, in terms of its army, and more in terms of uh, combined with its fleet, because it had they have a shit ton of capital ships. So if I ever plan to help dislodge them at all, I am going to need some. Uh, I, I I I may need uh, eventually to uh, get in on that uh, get in on that action vis-a-vis -vis, uh, building ships. Okay, the colonial borders are starting to look a little bit nicer. And France and Germany appear to be in a colonial competition of sorts. Hopefully that doesn't lead really to a world war because I don't think Germany w or I don't think Russia would be prepared to be get called into such a war. At least not at the moment. Ah, we can now uh, enact certain social reforms. Now, the common school movement. We want to we want to boost our education. That's a that's a large movement. It's reasonably uh, militant. So yeah, let's go on and do that. Basic school system. Here we come. And um, also um, education efficiency research. Here we come. So yeah, slowly but surely, bit by bit, we are climbing up that ladder. In the meantime, I think... Maybe... I should encourage a couple of clerks or capitalists... Boost that efficiency. And roll that beautiful bean footage. Ah, yeah, so we have so actual social spending now, so that's costing us 
or should be. Eh. So yeah, our tax collection got ever so slightly more efficient. Our capacity to build larger armies is slowly returning to us. Yeah, so the Boxer Protocols have been signed by all of all eight signatories. Look, Japan just needs to give it up. It's not going to get Russia to uh, give up Sakhalin. Yeah, okay, yeah, we're seeing the, uh, based on the life rating, this won't happen just yet. The, this one's the what the stuff with the life ratings of 5. Only the stuff with the light, life ratings of 10 are going to, uh, yep. So, yeah, let's look at the our uh, remaining uh, independent nations in, uh, in Africa, uh, if you will. We have... Liberia and us. That is it. Well, I suppose there's Transvaal and Orange. Er I'm not sure... Was there no Boer War? Was I not paying attention? Huh. Huh. Well, one of only two nations that uh, is ruled by actual, like, African Africans. Well, Liberia is African Americans, but never mind. I'm, you know, I meant black people. I'll say black people. Uh, so yeah, one of the, the the only ones that aren't dominated by some sort of European descended person. So that much at least is not that much different. Persia's still opposed to everyone. Persia, it's free real estate. Alright, we can finally have our tariffs down at zero. That should help our factory owners, if nothing else. Okay, excellent, excellent, excellent. Perhaps we need more literacy than that. Yeah, 
Yeah, our craftsmen. Appear to be going up somewhat, at least on their own. And we managed to encourage clerks, can we? Can we, can we, can we, can we manage it? Is our, or is our literacy still too low? And uh, we, you know what, I'll bet you it is. Uh, yeah, we, we should probably get it, get our intellectuals up to, uh, up a little further before we do anything else. For this stage in our industrial tech, we have enough. Perhaps more than enough. So... Going back to pumps, let us uh, boost intellectuals. Here in the Euro Yoruba states. And Japan just really wants Sakhalin. And they don't give a shit if it's possible for them to get it or not. Yeah, not enough little ships. Aha! Huh. Interesting. Yugoslavian occupation of Sado. It's not something I especially thought I would find. Uh, see, biologism is by far the most uh, useful of these social thought texts because it can get you... Uh, Darwinism, which boosts, which gives you an additional 50% boost to your education efficiency. So it's a great one to go after if you want to start boosting your literacy. After that... Might want to go for early railroad. I have to see. Ah, and Italy just claimed Livia, so in. So, somewhat uh, less uh, anachronistic uh, Turkish African holdings, because I mean, Turkey's a republic now. Yeah, our, our literacy boost is increasing. It's until 1894. I think we'd be able to uh, claim something else off them. I don't want to be losing pops in Persia. These uh, I need I need these for my RGOs.
Paraguayan reactionaries enforce their demands in Paraguay. So yeah, they don't restore a monarchy. They have a presidential dictatorship. Empire Brazil, constitutional monarchy. Yeah, Alaska's part of Canada. Yep, the United States never got it. They got Hawaii. Yeah, they have, uh, they're staying out of European affairs, for the most part. Re Russian Republic has been pretty dang stable for one that's been, uh, had to keep mobilized for as long as they have. Yeah, our socialist uh, faction slowly increasing. I think, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be in a situation where once uh, once we do have elections, uh, we're gonna see a lot of uh, coalition governments. It's probably gonna be mostly the conservatives and the reactionaries, but because um, you know the liberals pretty much never uh, form coalitions with the socialists for some reason. But um, yeah, the yeah, the so you you can get uh, the conservatives and reactionaries, the socialists and communists, and the liberals and fascists most more or less stand on their own most of the time. All right, we have a crisis in uh, northern New Guinea in which uh, Germany and Britain are fighting over who gets to own this thing. Well, I mean, it's coffee. It has coffee. That's, that's decent RGO. Would be quite hilarious, though, if... Uh, if if uh, shit ended up uh, starting an actual war... France backing Germany, as it does. Oh, here's biologism. How long would it take to, for us to get the next one? Could get the better output. But above all else, I need to build railroads. Should get this pretty quick. Yeah, I definitely need more railroads. So, Russia on the side of Britain, France, Italy, and Germany. It's the UK, Russia, and Austria, Hungary. Yeah, I do think eventually a repro that reproachment is going to happen. I mean, their interests just keep seeming to align on these crises.
uh, 0.0455 per month. That makes it about 0.6 per year. That's pretty decent. Let's see if any uh, new industry pops have spawned in Shua, if nowhere else. No, it would not appear so. Yeah, Begemder has 4%. That is precisely the number you want. Oh man, it looks like this may lead to a war. Shit. That's the case, I may need to research army tech and not go back to that education tech. Why is Austria-Hungary not throwing in yet? Curious, curious, very curious. Austria-Hungary would lose prestige if they don't, uh, if they don't join in. Less than three weeks until a war. Yeah, artillery is the one you want to go to. Go, go with first uh, with light armament uh, machine guns is like the only one that really gives you a big uh, useful boost um, but artillery that's your primary damage dealer uh, army leadership that's useful because your prime the primary purpose of infantry in combat in Victoria 2 is to uh, you know stay together be meat shields for the artillery who do the real work um, used to be in earlier patches, uh, you could, um, per, uh, per Isaro Productions, uh, go, actually go, literally go artillery only. Uh, you could do that in Victoria too. Uh, can't really do that now, um, because, yeah, I mean, that was fixed. I mean, that's clearly, you know, broken, not the sort of thing you want. No one actually wants artillery only. That is a meme. But, um, yeah. I do wonder. But with puddling process, for now, is that will get a, give us a large boost in uh, coal production, among other things. And we can only build, uh, you know, so much uh, railway at a time. At least so much useful railway. Finally build rail in Gonder. I wonder when we are going when it is going to spawn uh when it's gonna spawn uh brain fart, when it's gonna spawn um shit, when it w when it's going to spawn rubber. Because that would be quite useful indeed. In the meantime, looks like Austria-Hungary is not joining in. And Bulgaria is at war with whom and why? Yugoslavia wants uh, northern Macedonia and Russia is going to stop them. You know what, sure, I'm not actually going to do anything, but uh, it's not like Yugoslavia can get at me. In the meantime, the German colonial conquest of northern New Guinea 
has fired. It is Britain and Russia and Germany, France and Italy, and that is a great war in all but name. And it'll have to wait until next episode. Until that until that time, I have been Maricotti. You have been hearing me give this uh, non-original catchphrase. I should probably think of a different one. But uh, yeah, I will see you next time. Um, see you then.